Welcome back to another edition of the AUDL Take. I know it's been a minute since my last episode, and as you can see, some changes have happened. I finally cut off all that beautiful hair that I've been building up over quarantine. Time to get it back short and let it all grow back again. But also, I want to talk about last week's episode. I kind of took some time off before I got this episode because I really wanted that episode to kind of float around before I moved on. I think it was a very important one. Somehow, we could find a way to bring the AUDL and the PUL more on the same page and uh, bring events together and really help promote each other, I think would be a great thing. As you can see, though, the last week's episode kind of became its own news, uh, especially since my use of Twitter really kind of distracted from what was really trying to be talked about. And I really want to talk more about how I'm moving forward with Twitter. Um, I think it's not a great place for these kinds of discussions. Um, also, I believe that it doesn't really represent who I am or what this show is about. And what basically happened last week was trying to promote this episode. I kind of ruffled some feathers, which is very easy to do with Twitter as the more I've used it. Uh, someone who's not very social media heavy or savvy with this kind of stuff. Uh, it was very easy to get sucked into a lot of drama that really wasn't drama until you're into it. And I just noticed overall with Twitter, it's not really a safe place to have these really tough conversations. Um, it's a lot of group mentality. People come after you. There's a lot of quoting your tweet and taking it out of context and then having their followers only see that and not looking at the whole conversation. And so then you have people coming at you for things that you're not even really talking about, but because a person quote tweeted and then put it in this context, well, now you're this kind of person. And it really never seems to be about the ideas. It seems more to be an attack on the individual. And so I realized going forward with Twitter, this isn't somewhere I actually want to be. I don't think this show needs it. And um, if you looked at the numbers, there wasn't a lot of people coming from Twitter to come watch my show. And so I felt like in the future, there may I may come back, but for, for a definite amount of time, Twitter's just not a place I want to be. I think it's full of a lot of people who are just out to get each other, out for blood. It's more of a combative app, not a discussion app. And so I'm going to still stay on Reddit, uh, the ultimate Reddit. I'm going to be on Facebook and Instagram, um, but I'm most likely not going to comment to a lot of those places. That's more to just send the information out there. If you're a fan, share it. If not, you can leave comments or something like that. Uh, odds are I'm not going to really go there and address them. As far as the YouTube show, if you're leaving comments here, I'm going to do my best to uh, interact with you because that's what this show's about. I want to hear what other people have to say about the show and about the league and about the sport of Ultimate as a whole. So going forward, no more Twitter. We'll still have Facebook, Ultimate Reddit, Instagram. But uh, I really want to focus on the YouTube channel itself. And so if you're leaving comments down below, I'll try my best to read them and interact if I feel like there's a real conversation to be had there. But excited to move on to our next topic. But I just wanted to cover a little bit of last week and kind of give you an idea of where the show's going as we move forward. For this next segment, I really wanted to focus on the future of sports. As we can tell, everything kind of shut down for this beer bug that was going around. Nobody was really playing, everybody kind of up in the air. What What's safe, what's not safe, what can we do? Will sports be any sports be able to happen this year? So a lot has evolved since the beginning of it. We're starting to see leagues come back. And I really wanna talk about what we see as success for these leagues. I think we have to kind of break it down as we move forward. When it comes to cases of the beer bug, is that what we're trying to avoid? I think it's kind of hard to say that we're gonna completely be able to run leagues and not have a few cases spark up. We're starting to see the MLB come back. We're seeing professional women's soccer. We're seeing, um, I believe, hockey was coming back. We have basketball right around the corner. Football's coming. So these are the biggest leagues in the world for sports. And if they're having a hard time, then all the other leagues below them, I think, are going to suffer from it. So these, these leagues are kind of the indicator of where the future of sports is going. So I really want to ask you guys, what do you think is going to be the success is it going to be the keeping the case numbers down to zero? If we have any case numbers at all, is that bad? Or is it about deaths? Are we worried about how many players themselves might die from the disease because of playing in these events? And then also, is it affecting how their family members, how many, many of these people might be okay, but then we find out family members have died. So I really wanna break it down. What do you as a viewer of sports or a sports fan, what do you view these leagues as a success? I think for me, I expect to see cases. I expect to see a lot of cases. My goal, hopefully, is to see no deaths. I think if we can run these entire leagues and nobody in the league themselves die and nobody in their family members die, I think that's a success. Uh, it seems weird to do that, but uh, I don't know if a lot of people out there are going to feel the same way. I think cases scare people. They should. This is a serious thing. But at the same time, these, there's a lot of players who want to play. I think if the players do the best they can to quarantine themselves after they've played and stay away from family when 
they're separated then from the game. I think that's a very smart move, but I, I, I still think there's going to be a lot of cases that spring up, but we really are going to have to start kind of taking these risks if we want to enjoy parts of the life that we've always had. I think for these athletes, they've built their whole life around being an athlete. So to take that from them is like to take a platform for how they can make change in this world. So a lot to go on, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you think uh, the cases are the most important thing? Are deaths the most, the most important thing? Is it the family and the risk in general that we should be worried about? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So what's this mean for the AUDL? I think they're taking a lot of pointers from how these leagues move forward. I think something like the AUDL, there's not a lot of fan base right now, so you can really kind of work with the social distancing and things like that as we move into next year. It's not the the greatest thing to say, like, yeah, we don't have enough fans, so it's okay. But uh, I think realistically, there's, there's an easier chance for the AUDL to kind of get back up and started and continue the social distancing. And I mean, we're still a year from that right now, so a lot of things can change. But I think it, depending on how these leagues do, I think the AUDL is gonna look at a lot of the precautions that these other leagues do and find out which ones were successful, which ones failed. And I think a lot of these bottom, kind of lower leagues that are just starting up and all the different sports, they're gonna look at the cues from these leagues. It's going to be a very interesting time. I think the NFL is going to be the biggest one we're gonna see, because that's the biggest league in the world. I think if there can be successful or somewhat reasonably successful based on the parameters we were talking about, I think that's a good indicator for the rest of the league to kind of move forward. It's gonna de depend on each sport. I think Ultimate kind of fits in that post beer bug world where we can kind of social distance. There's some connection, but it's not like basketball where you're rubbing up on each shoulders constantly. There's a lot of space, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of running, so you're, you're constantly moving around in an outdoor environment. Uh, maybe, there is a few indoor uh, teams that play indoors, but they can easily shift outside or it's a big enough open space, they may be fine. But there's a lot to go on. There's a lot, there's a big off season. So there's a lot to talk about. I think we're gonna be, as sports fans, we're gonna be paying attention to these leagues and see how successful they may be. And I think the AUDL, the top, the top tier people, I think are gonna be watching as well because we all wanna learn. We all wanna make this the most safe and possible way to get back to sports. And uh, unfortunately, it's going to take a few leagues, take you know, a big risk. I think the AUDL, they're just going to sit back and try to learn from it. All right, everyone, thanks again for tuning in to the AUDL Take. I got a special little guest for us to say goodbye, his little tie, his first little perform or appearance on the AUDL Take. But he also wanted to say thank you for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Thanks again for joining and watching and commenting and liking, subscribing to the AUDL Take. We will see you next time.